Hello and welcome to yet another one of our video tutorials for the JD Builder video tutorial series. My name is Chaitan and I'm with Joomdev. In this video, we'll look at our social links icon, which uh, element, social links element, which lets you add social links to your JD Builder page. And you know, these can be social profiles that go anywhere within your page. Let's go ahead and add a social links icon real quick. By default, it has three uh, icons there already. So that's the Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. The very first option is the admin label. This is how you identify the icon. So you can just put social icon here in the back end. The next is a social profile. Now you can add and as many profiles as you like. There is no limit. So you can have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and whatever else you want. To delete an icon, just click the delete button. To duplicate one, just click the duplicate button. Let's go ahead and select a new icon for this one. We'll call this one WhatsApp. And in the title, we'll select uh, search for WhatsApp. Now this icon library consists of almost 2000 plus icons combined. So you'll probably be able to find everything you need. So we have our four icons. And in the individual icon, you also have a link option to decide where this link would open when someone clicks on it or when someone taps on it. And you can decide if the link would open in no window and if you want a no follow tag as well. The style options is where it really gets trickier and useful. So by default, you have the alignment, you know, how you want the icon to be aligned, left, right, or center. The, the default is center, which look good. In the display, you can select how you want the icons to be displayed, whether you only want the text or you only want the title or you want both of them. So the title is what was available earlier in the profile. So this is the title. If you select both, you'll see we'll have the icon position available as well. So we have the icon and the text as well. In the icon position, you can select a position. Right now we have left. We can change it to right or top or anything we like. And you'll see the icon will move to that position within the box itself. The inner padding is how much space is there inside the icon. This will just make the space around the icon, the color around the icon, just bigger. So we'll change it to a much smaller number, which looks good. Now the colors is a very important aspect. This is where it's very useful. So you can select from brand colors or you can select custom colors. The brand colors will only be applicable for stuff like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, but and, and other brands that are available, but they're not applicable for, you know, just, just regular icons. So that's where the custom colors come in very useful. So I would suggest selecting custom colors, but that does limit you to, you know, uh, having a same color for every icon unless you plan on writing custom CSS. So you can select a foreground color, I'll select black, and then a background color to be white and a border color to be white as well. And in this one, we'll select the foreground color to be white and background and border to be red. Now th this is just the uh, mouse over. So uh, doing this would kind of get us a uh, opposite effect when we mouse over, so it's the color just swaps. The icon size is the actual size of the icon, and this the text size is the text that appears within the box, uh, the block that uh, that size, and the space between is the space between the individual icons. So, let me adjust this to look better. So right now there's 10 pixels of space between these two icons. I can change this to about 36, and you'll see Facebook and Twitter will be 36 pixels apart and so will be Twitter and Instagram and Instagram and WhatsApp. So you can control this. Now you can also add a border to these buttons if you want to. So you can select a dashed border and just have a one pixel border. And there you go, you have your border. And you can also uh, increase the depth of the border. So, you know, make it like, I don't know, three pixels or something, you'll start noticing it. You can also do border radius. This will give you rounded edges. So what would happen is the border radius is really uh, just um, g gets you rounded edges. So right, if I mouse over, you can see you have rounded. Let me just do it a little bit more. And you can see you'll almost have circular edges for the buttons now. There you go. You can add a box shadow if you like. 
by default you have the following box shadow with the color and you can change this if you want to so you can see what it looks like I just disable it I personally don't like it and then you have the mouse over animation like how the button would react now these are animation standard which work really well on mouse over so the button would kind of grow you know and then there are like almost I think 20 plus animations or something you can select from any one of these just a highlighting effect so the user actually feels like something's happening when the user mouse is over and those are all the options and there are no limits on as many uh, on the number of icons you can add here so you can add unlimited social profiles and they'll continue to work they'll, they'll just work just fine and you know select any icon of your choice whether that be WordPress or Joomla or anything and it'll work just fine and that's how you would use social profiles in JD Birder thanks for watching let us know if you have any questions in our uh, the comments down below or on our forums at joomdev.com.